right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right In case y'all are curious about the pink color right here on this escape, this is a this is a lovely white color. You know, we got all the fanciness with this white. It's a beautiful, more metallic white, so it looks really good on the car. Let's come over here to the front part of the car again. You know, get us some more looks over here of the car. We'll move right on through over in this area. And we come right on down through here. And what do we have in the front? We got the Ford emblem. And funny enough, in case y'all didn't notice it, if you've seen the Ford, um, what we call the Ford F-150 Lightning, we got like a little light bar that runs right on through the middle of the big car. Pretty neat thing. And you got the cool grill set up for this game. And it's a good thing. It's more than the body color right here as well. And you're going to be like right over here. And the LED color right here. Now let's come around to the passenger side of the vehicle, why don't we? Look at these lovely, lovely blacked out, lovely blacked out rims we got right here. With the 19 inch tires we have looking right here there. Lovely decent size, looks pretty cool. Kind of goes along white and black together. It makes it a very good thing. You come right through there, you got your sensors going around on your car too. As you can tell right through there, you got some good sensors going through there. When we move right through there, we got, see where it says ST line right through there. We got a pretty cool thing running on up right on there, as we can tell. T-line. We'll move right on through here up to the mirror. As you see, there's no cool fancy, you know, turn signal in the thing, but I mean, it's an, it's an escape. You know, you just wanted a car to get you from point A to point B, having some cool features. If you want, if you're looking for that on the mirror, you might need to upgrade to an edge or something up higher here. There's the mirror right there. Has some cool features and everything going on for you right there. Cool power, you know, manual folding, all that, all that funness right through there. You got the folding and all that right on there for your mirror to help you get where it needs to go. Coming through here, got you know, you can grab the door handle, it unlocks all the coolness, and you come back through here, and you got the privacy tent right here on your window. See, you can tell difference there to there. It helps out for anything, anyone or anything in the back. Tires start running back through here back of the car as well and we have tail lights led blinkers back there led lights in the back just to help you kind of get through where you need to go there's a signal right through there come down here and you got two exhaust two circle exhausts right back through here you can hear that engine curl <laughs> that is a two liter eco boost engine in there to make that good sound and then right through there you know right over there is your trailering and you get some good numbers right there, don't you see? Look how good it can trigger. Alright, let's come back up through here. As you can tell, it's an all-wheel drive vehicle right there. And then you can see 
where it says escape. You can see where it says escape running through the back of the car right here. A Ford emblem right there. Got a windshield wiper back here for when it gets a bit rainy. And your light back on. And your little bright light right there. Check it to wind badging right through there. And you know, you just got coolness kind of running through back here. Run around to the fuel tank. As you can tell, you can pop it open. And there's all your fill information right through there. Isn't that pretty nifty? I think so. Get some good miles and stuff. Close that back up. Same thing, you get back up here the other side. Funness. So guys, let's transition to the inside of the vehicle and show you what it has going on. Let me transition over there right on now. Okay guys, we're in the inside of the lovely, lovely Ford Escape. We'll show you up here. There is a screen right up on there for y'all. There's a screen right there for y'all. Got some lovely features and stuff right on there that you can lovely read. Right above it, you got a heads up display for the car instead of all that. Light controls are right through there. You got light controls right over there. And we move over window controls, mirror controls, unlock and unlock are right on this area over here. We're on the leather seating. We come right on over here and you have parking. You have parking right through there. You have all of your adjustable meters and stuff right on through there. You got your parking and some of your sensors. You got the Prindle shifter right through there where you might need it. Your AC controls and all of that right up there. There's a screen right up there. Your lovely 13 inch screen right up there where you might need it for all the fanciness you might need on your screen. Got all of the um, GPS, you know, phone, audio, all the lovely things you might need. Auto dimming rear view mirror right there. Some garage door and some of that stuff right on up through there. You might need garage door and some storage options up there. Pull this down and have you a little, little mirror right here in the car. Also has some lights and a good mirror for what you're doing in the car. Steering wheel right here. Got some audio controls, you know, to control some of that stuff. It's pretty good horn, all that. But the basic steering wheel controls with a little bit of red stitching and stuff right through there. And it's not a bad steering wheel to have for this type of car. Red stitching runs through a lot of this car right here. And that's pretty neat, pretty neat. Middle console right is right there. It's not the biggest, but it's not the smallest. So if you open it up right through here, you got a decent amount. But it's a pretty tiny console, enough to keep some basic stuff in here, maybe some basic essentials, but you probably could fit right through here a few a couple cameras or maybe you could fit like a tiny like some phones or like a tiny tablet. Nothing too big can fit in there. Not the biggest, but it can work for what you might need it to work for. A couple cup holders right through here. A little like chain spot right there. And more to plug in, you know, phones or wireless charging pad and 12 volt right up through there. In the front part and that is pretty much it so guys let me switch on over to the sound system and give you an audio test let me do that real fast for you guys this is the audio system in the Ford Escape this is the Bang & Austin system let me turn it up and let you listen this is just find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl so guys if we come back up to the screen i'll show you a few things put your mind on that name we go right through there get the cooled seats or you may matter of fact that cool so you tap them they're heated seats heated seats but we don't need them on today so we can turn them off heated seats on both sides isn't that pretty nifty on this type of car we get the heated seats right through there. And we got some other seats, you know, the, the AC controls, the heated steering wheels right there, there if we need that, you know. The, the, all the AC controls are right there up on the screen. We come up to the screen right here. We got the screen, we got the GPS, but they're throwing right through there. Then we scroll through there, we got the phone controls right through there, settings, you know, apps, all that. We tap on apps. 
We got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, you know, the basic things, mobile hotspot, all that funness. What's right through there on the screen? But now if we come down here, you see there's a camera button right through there. You see that camera button right there? If we tap it, it brings up some cameras up on the screen where we can help see with the different types of cameras. We can help see what on earth we could use to help with, but there's the rear view camera in case you're wanting to see, or the, I guess we'd say the front facing cameras as well, but you know. We got the front camera right there. And help us park right there. Now if we want to I'll show you the cameras one more time. That's the front camera's right through there. But I can also we'll put this right here into reverse. And there is the backup camera right through there for you. There's the different views you can you can hit the plus button and make it bigger, you know, or just change the idea. But we'll put it back in the park for y'all. There we go. That was the cameras. You got a few different things at the front that up you can do. And sensors, all those different sensors you can do to help park and stuff like that. Guys, so let's move around in the car and show you the rear of the car. And we'll show you the back of the car. So let's move around right now. Step out the car. And we'll move back here to the back of the car. Open up here. I'm about 5'10", right now where the driver's seat was just kept at, where it was just kept at, is I have not too much leg room, but if I sit up, I have a decent amount of leg room right through here, what makes it pretty easy for it to go right there. Not too much, but I got, let's say, about that much for someone who's about 5'10". Got the window control here, some speakers back through here. Some, just some soft leather back through here, like the seats are leather. Back here, we get them in the middle. Got two cup holders right here, different type of design than you might see from most car companies, but nothing too bad. Two cup holders and close up through here. Soft leather back right through there. If we go right back through there, those are some two charging points back here. Some air, some air back through here, and some charging points right through there. So. We move back to the trunk area, and that's pretty much back here. So for anyone who'll be riding with you, and it wouldn't be that bad of a ride back through here for them. Pretty nice and comfortable three seats, you know, decent amount of room. But we come back here to the trunk. We come back here. We find the button. We hit it, and we go up. My beeps. And you have spots over here, you know, you can put your spare tire back through there. You And then you see have that much amount of room right through there. For all of your needs, you can eat back there. You can even throw that down. Pretty good. You got some different charging styles, 12 volt right through there. And that's pretty nice. So we'll hit the button up here again and we will... And then we'll get it nice and close for you. Let's come up into the... Um, Passenger side for you. And then that opens. It will be better. Setting us now. Red stitching is running right through there as well. Cup holder down in there, like on both sides, and some little storage devices. Same spot right through here. It's nice. You can kind of see the little little accents they're trying to throw right through there on the dash. We open up the glove box. And it's a decent size glove box for all your papers and maybe some little other random things you want. Some air vents right through there as well. And then it's not a bad ride up here. You'd enjoy it not too much while you could sit out and watch everything, guys. So, that is one. Now, we we'll come over here and, like I said, it got the lovely engine up there through here for y'all. Got that two liter EcoBoost with the sound. So, in case y'all want to know what the sound is like, guys, maybe in case y'all were kind of curious of the two liter is even a meanly sounding car. We can set it right back here, y'all, right back here, and let y'all listen. I'll give y'all a little right there you know you have the car in different areas mirrors it's all the fun 
So if there's something I didn't cover, something that you wanted me to cover and I just didn't get to, guys, just let me know. Leave a little like, comment, share something. Let me know that I didn't. It's down there. Okay, I'm not like, I just want to pass that through. Maybe something that you thought would be kind of cool. I'll come back and show you one of these escapes and show you what it can do, guys. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do all or whatever it is on the platform you are. Guys, I'll see you on the